Hello people, good morning, another beautiful day, yup, hope your five senses work, health and strength and good, or excellent, what, what's up Steam Deck fans, Steam Deck tribe, Steam Deck nation, Steam Deck universe, Steam Deck world, Steam Deck legion, what's good, Steam Deck mod, what's happening, and the Steam Deck squad, what's up, and to you Steam Deck nerds and geeks and freaks, what's up, and you Steam Deck ro uh, <laughs> investigators, what's happening, what do I got for you guys, alright, let's see here, Proton, Proton Experimental Improved EA App Battle.net and Nev, Nev, NevPy enabled for many games. Says here, rather a great sounding update for Proton, I mean to Proton Experimental landed on May 5th. So here's a run over what's new and improved since there's many different Proton versions. It can get a bit confusing, so head over to my beginner guide, Steam Play and Proton, find more info. We'll leave that link. It says here, now listed as playable for this update is Gunfire Reborn. There's also been enabled Navapi for these games, uh, meaning you shouldn't need any special workaround to enable special NVIDIA features in games. Uh, Chernal Blight uh, Enhanced Edition, these are the games, uh, Dead Space Remake, Forspoken, Forza Horizon 5, High Rush, Marvel Avengers, Monster Hunter Rise, Need for Speed Unbound, Noi, uh, Prop, Prop, Prop Knight, Redfall, Returnal, Sackboy, Big Adventure, SCP-5K, Scum, <laughs> The Last of Us Part 1, Watch Dog Legions. Some more bug fixes and improvement in, came in too. Fix, fix Tales of Berseria suffering from screen tearing and with V-Sync turned on while in full screen on borderless. Improve Final Fantasy on load times. Fix a EA launcher crashing and remove previous workaround. Fix a fix Red Dead Redemption 2 taking long time to exit with Alt F4. Fix Battle.net not starting. Fix uh, cutscene freezing in Bloodstain Ritual of the Night. Fix multiple Unity title uh, flickering on the Steam Deck when switching display windows. Fix Elder Scrolls Online wrongfully uh, claiming not enough space. Fix Elder Scrolls launcher showing blank window. And finally, they update Steam Work SDK support version 1.57. You can see the change log here. Live, I will leave the article, article plus both links. And that is the end of that. So you Steam Deck fans got another update to your Steam Deck. And I will always keep you posted on what's new with the Steam Deck. So yeah, have fun, have fun with these improvements and games. And enjoy your, enjoy the rest of your day. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek playing. Poor Dark Side.